One of the most secretive development trials in US military history has just passed phase one, and the Russians are terrified. Just half a decade ago, the idea of constructing an aircraft like this seemed like a distant dream. But Lockheed Martin proudly announced recently that their clandestine fighter, the Dark Star, has aced its trials. In a dramatic test, air-to-air -air missiles were launched at the Dark Star, but they fell behind, unable to match its pace. The investment so far has topped a whopping $300 million, with plans to inject another $700 million into the project trials over the upcoming months. After launching in the US and soaring over the Atlantic, this aircraft can touch down in Europe in just 40 minutes of flight time. And when its pilot ignites the afterburner, it sounds as if the atmosphere is being ripped in two. This aircraft shatters the hypersonic barrier, and its acceleration doesn't stop there. But what is the elusive Dark Star project? And why is Russia so concerned? Promoted as not only the fasted, but also the peak of technological advancement in aviation, the Dark Star is the most complex platform in the aviation industry. Interestingly, the creators of this machine even gave a nod to the Top Gun Maverick team after it was featured in the recent Tom Cruise sequel. By the time the film was released, the project was still incredibly secretive and still remains highly classified today, given all the work that's gone into putting the jet together. But it's remained a point of speculation about how the dark star from the film bears such a striking resemblance to its real-world counterpart, considering its design has only just been released. Its official title is the Lockheed Martin SR-72, affectionately dubbed the Son of Blackbird. This trailblazing stealth jet sees covert design combined with jaw-dropping velocity. Spanning 100 feet, this hypersonic multi-role Titan has piqued the US Air Force's curiosity. Why? because it dashes through the skies at over 4,000 miles per hour and can ascend to dizzying heights of 80,000 feet. And those are just some of the reasons that the Russians are paying such close attention to the reports from these more recent trials. With an aircraft capable of those kind of feats, it would form a reconnaissance platform, second to none. The SR-72 isn't just another fighter jet, it's in a league of its own. Within just minutes, this powerhouse of the skies could penetrate even the most fortified air defences, positioning itself deep within enemy territory. And it would achieve that just by being able to simply travel faster than the defence system. There wouldn't even be time to respond to it by the time you became aware of it within your airspace. Whether hovering over manufacturing hubs, power plants, or sites housing intercontinental ballistic missiles, its presence alone could force adversaries into submission. The SR-72, often hailed as the successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, currently represents a monumental leap in aerial reconnaissance technology. While the SR-71 was retired in 1998, its legacy paved the way for the SR-72, a platform designed to bridge the gap between surveillance satellites, crewed aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. When compared against Russia's most advanced reconnaissance aircraft, the SR-72 would outperform any rival. Its unparalleled speed and capabilities dwarf anything in the Russian arsenal, making it an unmatched asset in surveillance world. As for the Russian capabilities, when it comes to high-speed reconnaissance, the closest comparison would be the MiG-25 Foxbat, which was designed during the Cold War primarily as an interceptor, but also had reconnaissance variants. The MiG-25 can reach speeds of up to Mach 3.2, making it one of the fastest military aircraft ever built. In terms of hypersonic technology, Russia has been focusing on hypersonic missiles rather than aircraft. The Avangard would be the most notable example, which is a hypersonic glide vehicle designed to be mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile. It's important to note that the SR-72 itself hasn't been officially unveiled or confirmed operational by the US Air Force yet. Both nations continue to develop advanced aerospace technologies and the landscape is constantly changing as new systems are developed and deployed. The unveiling of such a platform, though, undoubtedly sends ripples of concern through global defence circles. 
The SR-72's potential to deliver precise strikes or gather critical intelligence makes it a serious threat. For Russia, a nation that prides itself on its advanced defense systems, the SR-72's emergence could be seen as a significant challenge, prompting them to re-evaluate their aerial defense strategies. In the high-stakes game of aerial supremacy, the SR-72 has set a new benchmark underscoring the need for continuous evolution in military technology. Just at a flashback to 2017, the SR-72 took its inaugural flight. However, sustaining hypersonic speeds presented immediate challenges. To endure such extreme conditions, the fighter demanded more robust engines, a fortified structure and a resilient exterior. As a result, after each mission, extensive repairs and updates became a necessity. It could not even survive more than a single flight due to the extreme physical limitations. While enhancing the design and engineering a superior engine might seem straightforward, the real challenge lay in sourcing materials. The aircraft's exposure to intense temperatures posed a significant hurdle. To put it into perspective, when the SR-72 accelerates to nearly 3,000 miles per hour, the leading edges of its wings and its nose cone endure temperatures close to 600 degrees Celsius. Push that speed to 4,000 miles per hour, and the aircraft's exterior faces a scorching 1,000 degrees Celsius thanks to the superheated air layers brushing against it. Such extremes can cause the fighter's nose, wings and air intakes to begin melting once it surpasses the 3,000 miles per hour mark. During the development, the question was where could countries find materials and alloys that could withstand these fiery conditions? Were they actually pushing beyond the boundaries of what's technologically possible? Enter Skunk Works, Lockheed's legendary division. When faced with the impossible, they simply said, challenge accepted. Renowned as the USA's premier aviation design team, Skunk Works had an impressive portfolio. They're the masterminds behind the U-2 spy plane, the stealthy F-117A Nighthawk, the formidable F-22 Raptor, and the cutting-edge F-35 fighters. Some even joked that with such genius levels of flight designs, they might be extraterrestrials themselves, but they had history with the SR projects before. The fastest plane ever, the SR-71 Blackbird, was also a Skunk Works design. It's no wonder then that the SR-72, the next evolution, was given to the same company to see if they could work their magic one more time. They had one key problem to solve. Navigating the skies at Mach 5 and beyond introduces the primary challenge of aerodynamic heating. This intense heat can cause an aircraft's metal components to melt, jeopardizing the integrity of its fuselage and wings. One solution they came up with was a cooling jacket wrapped around the aircraft itself, circulating pressurized coolant to keep critical areas at safe temperatures. However, aircraft engineers recognize the potential drawbacks of such a system. It would make the aircraft heavier and interrupt the sleek design aerodynamically. Instead, they focused on enhancing the aircraft's design and doubled down on sourcing the top secret advanced composite materials needed to fight the heat. Their gamble paid off. They struck a balance in the SR-72's design, giving it the speed of a hypersonic missile while retaining the agility of a fighter jet. Before its physical inception, the plane underwent thousands of computer simulations. These tests revealed it could potentially hit speeds up to 7,500 miles per hour, a speed so extreme it's beyond any aircraft's capability. However, Skunk Works, always sensible in their solutions, recognized the limitations of such speed. At those velocities, the SR-72 would need vast distances to execute turns, making it more of a rocket than a plane. As a result, they dialed back their ambitions, settling on the still impressive speed of just over 4,000 miles per hour. As a result, soaring at speeds of Mach 6 to 6.5, the SR-72 boasts a unique feature, a movable cone in its nose. This innovation grants the aircraft exceptional agility. By adjusting the nose, parts of the wing and tail can be bypassed, enhancing aerodynamics. 
Even a minor shift can redirect the oncoming airflow, allowing the aircraft to change direction seamlessly. As the SR-72's design matured, Skunk Works embraced a blend of high-grade carbon, ceramic and metal, specifically engineered to withstand the extreme temperatures. This robust combination proved itself time and time again in the rigorous computer simulations. But moving from a computer model to a physical machine presented a whole set of new challenges. Now they'd solved the heat and speeds, the engine was the next on the list. The initial plan was to utilize the Pratt and Whitney J58P4 engines, similar to those used in the old SR-71 Blackbird. But as the SR-72 neared completion, it became obvious that these engines were relics of the past. A modern replacement was needed. The team at Skunk Works, always the problem solvers, with their innovative spirit and knack for finding some kind of solution, paired up with another team to get their jet in the skies. Aerojet Rocketdyne engineers, well known in the aviation world for their space expertise, played a pivotal role in the SR-72's development. Their ground-breaking innovation? A dual jet engine. Initially functioning like a supersonic turbojet, it effortlessly cruises at speeds up to 2,000 miles per hour. But when the need for speed intensifies, it transitions to a ramjet mode, just like a traditional rocket. This engine, more of a dream of modern engineering than a reality, was until very recently thought impossible to build. Traditional manufacturing techniques couldn't achieve the intricate casting and component fitting required. However, as the dawn of 3D printing revolutionized the game, enabling the creation of these intricate engine parts, a fresh chance to build the machine was born. Once they started using specialized 3D printers for their parts, the fighter's development progressed at an astonishing pace, with this year's prototype tests showing off a resounding success. The aircraft effortlessly achieved its target speed, altitude and maneuverability before smoothly returning to base. Local residents during its test flights only caught fleeting sonic echoes, with the aircraft itself remaining invisible in the skies. The SR-72's tests were shrouded in an aura of intense secrecy. Rigorous protocols limited access to the aircraft. Airbase personnel, not privy to the SR-72 project, experienced this firsthand. They were instructed to lie face down during the aircraft's hangar exits, underscoring the tight security measures. For those curious to know what it carries in its arsenal, the wait is finally over. While the SR-72's incredible flight capabilities are clear, the specifics remain a well-guarded mystery. Originally, there was speculation that this hypersonic jet would be armed with hypersonic missiles given its development under the long-range hypersonic weapon program. But the aircraft's design poses challenges. External missiles would disrupt its aerodynamics, and while internal storage is an option, it would require the plane to decelerate during launches, making it vulnerable. Enter the airborne laser weapon concept, adding a new dimension to modern aerial combat. The Boeing YAL-1 was a pioneer, equipped with a laser capable of intercepting and neutralizing both ballistic and cruise missiles, even those armed with nuclear warheads. This $5 billion investment by US taxpayers wasn't in vain. McKinney, Texas, became the birthplace of the world's inaugural laser weapons factory. With the upcoming sixth-generation, next-generation air dominance, NGAD fighter slated to be armed with a laser cannon. It's only fitting that the SR-72, a hypersonic Titan, follows suit. That would definitely give Russia something to focus on. A jet that can outfly ballistic missile defenses while utilizing its own laser cannon technology. Who knows what could be rolling out from the hangars next?